All right, so let's jump into some seller net problems. So what is a seller net problem? Well, seller net problems are going to be math problems where what you have to do is figure out how much must the home be listed for, how much it must sell for. So basically, you're given a lot of expenses and everything, and you have to figure out which one of the answers is the correct one that would account for all these expenses. So this is one of the questions that I do tell my students, you can work from your answer set. So if you see the answers in there and you're like, hey, I want to work off the answers, you could do that. Now, let's look at this question and let's read through it and take our, our, our and basically try to figure out how we're going to come up with the answer step by step without working backwards from the answers. So this one says, if Bob is looking to sell his home and has a first mortgage of $40,000 to pay off, and additionally, he needs $140,000 for his new home. How much must his home sell for if he must also include a 5% commission? So we're looking for how much must Bob sell his home for. So let's go ahead and take a look. Here's what we'll do. He needs to also have pay off a $40,000 mortgage to pay off. He needs to net or make $140,000 after paying off that mortgage and basically net proceeds for next home. And then he also has to pay a 5% commission. Now, let's talk about this for a second and let's talk about how we're going to solve for it. Okay. Minimally, minimally, the home has to sell for forty thousand plus one hundred and forty thousand. So that's going to be the first math that we need to do. We need to take out all the expenses he needs. So he needs to sell for one hundred and forty thousand plus forty thousand. Listen to what I'm going to tell you, all my mouth, my math people out there. You need to punch it into your calculator multiple times. Also, listen, this one. A lot of you would be tempted to do that math in your head. Do not do the math in your head. Listen, Mrs. Stu is one of the smartest people that I know, and Mrs. Stu wouldn't do this math in her head. So if it's not good enough for Mrs. Stu to do it in her head, then I suggest you don't do that either. Why? Nerves. You might look at it really quickly, and the math that you do in your head might not be lining up with what the actual math is. So you need to be able to give yourself a chance to... Do the math correctly. Best way to do that is to always punch it into your calculator in multiple times. So now we know that the home must minimally sell for $180,000. Now, a lot of people do this. Oh, there's going to be a 5% commission included. So 5% of $180,000, then we'll add that back in. No, because listen to what I'm going to tell you. We're going to write this in too, okay? We're going to say that the commission is always based off the sale price. Not what it was listed at. Not what you want to get. Because this is what he wants to net. He needs to make that much after the commission is taken out. So we're going to have to do some fancy schmancy math, okay? And let me show you some fancy schmancy math. And this is nothing above about like a seventh grade algebra level, okay? So let me show you, okay? I'm going to give you an example. Do you remember when we used to do 10 equals 2 times an unknown number, which is X, right? And they were like, hey, can you solve for and isolate X? Well, what happens is this. You could definitely do that. What you would do is you would basically divide each side, right? So you would basically do 2X divided by 2 it cancels that out. So the answer for X equals 10 divided by two, which is also basically known as five, right? <laughs> so that's our simple algebra right there. So listen to what I'm going to tell you. And you have to try to understand this. If I said to you, now listen to the words I'm going to use. You ready? Let's say I said this shirt is... 7% off, okay? And let's say the shirt was an odd number, $27, right? It was 7% off. 
we could do a couple things to figure out what that number is after the 7% comes out. Now, what I need you to do is as I'm taking you through this, remove all your thoughts about what we've already done with the problem, because what I'm trying to teach you is some concepts, I'm trying to teach you some concepts to help you understand this. Okay. So if I said there was 7% off, what could you do? Well, you could do a couple things. You could figure out what 7%, right? Of 27 is. And when we say of, of means multiply, right? So 7% of $27 and watch this. You ready? I'm going to do the math with you right now. Live 27 times 0.07% equals $1 and 89 cents. So we would have $1 and 89 cents off. So if I did 27 minus the 7%, which is $1 and 89 cents, this shirt would cost 27 minus $1 and 89 cents, $25 and 11 cents. Okay. That's 7% off, right? Let me show you something. Another way of basically doing this without having to subtract this would be we're saying, so it's 7% off the shirt. So doesn't that mean that we're paying 93% of the shirt? So 93% of 27, go ahead and do that math in your calculator because watch this, 0.93 times 27 equals $25 and 11 cents. So did you see that? When we're subtracting a percent out of a number, we could either find what that percent is. Like in this example, we found what 7% of that shirt was and then subtracted it from the 27. Or we just say, well, 7% off is the same as paying 93%. So 93% of $27 is the same as doing the math that way. So now... We're going to take that idea, that concept. I'm actually going to put another post-it note here because I want to show you, I want to leave that up for when we do the next step, the next step aroni. And the next step aroni is going to be this. We are going to go ahead and know that 180,000 is after we take out five percent of the sale price right because that's the commission right or isn't it 95 percent of an unknown number which is the sale price so we'll let that be x so 180,000 equals 95 percent of x and do you remember what we did when we had 10 equals 2x up there and we divided watch this if we take 180,000 and divide it by 95%, we're going to get what our sale price has to be. So 180,000 divided by 0.95 equals 189,473 dollars. That is the answer to what it must sell for, including a 5% commission. Now, Here's what I'm going to tell you, okay? You can now put in the prompt of, I'll actually show you the prompt, okay? That I used, okay? Do, 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 do. I basically used this as an example, right? I said, I'm going to put it on a post-it note for you. Bear with me, because I'm actually doing this live. So I didn't do any pre-planned things. So, this was a prompt that I originally put into chat GPT or actually I use Merlin. Imagine you are a real, you're a teacher for a real estate exam and want to develop multiple choice math problems to help students understand seller net questions, write 10 questions, multiple choice with step-by-step -step explanations. Now I don't recommend that you just go about that because then what I did was I took this. Okay. That original question that I wrote. So after I got the 10, I was like, okay, I'm not going to read those. I was like, rewrite them, okay, using this. And I will show you 
what else I did. I'm going to put another post in note because I care. And as I said, I do this on the fly because sometimes it's just really beneficial for you to kind of get all this stuff in here. And it gives you some chance to kind of look through the things. So watch. I then said, please rewrite them and use this following question as an example. And I want to show you, after doing that, what I got as far as an answer. And I'll show you how we could use that to help us gain additional practice. So, and having them rewrite it is key. So let me give one of the rewritten questions, okay? And we'll actually go through and do the rewritten question. Now, boom, okay? And ChatGPT just didn't put any punctuation in certain things. It needs an additional, and we'll read this, okay? All right, so it says if Lisa wants to sell her home to to pay off a first mortgage of sixty thousand, needs an additional one hundred eighty thousand for her new property. How much must her home sell for if she's to include a six percent commission? Now watch, I can just change some of these numbers up. Six percent commission, okay? She needs one hundred eighty thousand here, right? And she has a sixty thousand dollar mortgage. So guess what? Now we have a whole new question. And we'll just change it from Bob to Lisa, right? Because nothing has changed there other than the names and numbers. So now, watch the additional math that we could do and we could uh, go ahead and help ourselves to this. Now what happens is this. We know that we have to add in the 60000 Okay? We know we must do this. Get 180000 so that they could go ahead and... Um, buy their new home. So pop that into a calculator. 60,000 plus 180,000 equals 240,000. Boom. Now she must pay 6% commission. So basically the sales price, this 240,000 is what? 94% of the sale price. Right? Think about what we were doing with the shirt example before. Okay? So that's going to equal 240000 So if we actually then, because remember, we want to get the sale price by itself. Right? We want to get the sale price by itself. And of is multiplied. So 94% times the sale price equals two forty. dollars So we just do 240000 And we divide it by... 94%. And what would we get? Punch that into our calculator. That would equal $255,319. And you get a couple change, but I round up because most questions are going to make you do that. So that's how to do a seller net problem. Also, that is how you find some additional ways for you to practice. And I actually got eight, nine more questions like that where I could just go through and keep doing the motions, do the repetitiveness. So I hope this helped. I hope you like this one. Have a great one, everybody. I will